Okay, so this program is a little more sophisticated. We're working with not only loops, but decision structures. And um, basically, I am presenting the user with a menu of characters. Why don't we do something new here that's a um, musical note, which I believe is a backslash 16 escape sequence. So um, I'm going to choose that one, and then I get to choose a color. These are the color codes, which I took from the color.h header file that we talked about. So maybe I'll do some uh, red music notes. So I'm doing a color code of 12. And there are my characters. We filled the screen. So let's take a look at the code. And um, basically, I, I've created my variables up at the top. I have a, an integer for the menu choice, the, the character that the uh, user wants to print, and then um, another integer for the color code that the user is going to type in. I've created my loop counter up here with the other variables and I've initialized it to one. And then the actual character that's going to be printed, um, the user is going to just enter an integer from choice from the menu, but then I have to convert that to an actual character to print it out. So here's the menu, getting the user's character choice, and then I'm using a switch statement. I could have used an if, else, if, else, if, else, if, to uh, accomplish this also, but the switch is really nice for integral types like integers, characters, um, so things that are stored as integers uh, in memory. Um, it, it's just a cleaner, cleaner syntax. So in any case, um, these are the menu choices, and then you know we have the smiley face, the heart, and so on. Uh, this is the musical note that you saw me choose when I was doing my uh, the demo run. So, uh, yeah, and then I've cleared the screen and I'm presenting the color menu. I've lined those up with set W and uh, the color names and the color codes. Again, I took those codes from the color.h header file. We talked about this. The, those are enumerated at the top of this file. So if you, if you need the, um, ever need those codes, just open up color.h and take a look right at the top there. And um, yeah, that's it, getting the code from the user. And then finally, once I have that color code, I can just plug it right into the set color function. The thing with the set color function in the header file, it, you can either type the color name or you can provide the integer equivalent of that color. So that's what I'm doing here. For the color code, I'm providing the integer that the user chose, but then I'm just typing the, the word black for the background. So you can mix and match if you want, either a number or the actual color name. And then finally, I'm ready to print that character. Uh, my loop counter I created all the way up at the top with the other variables. I started it at one. I'm going to keep looping while one is less than or equal to 5,000. And I'm just printing the character and not forgetting to increment my loop counter. That's it.